Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. TSMC owns almost 60% of the chip manufacturing industry, and its market share in the advanced chip field even exceeds Samsung and Intel. Since 2019, the United States has launched an all-round suppression of Huawei and attempted to block the supply of high-end technology to Huawei to prevent TSMC from switching to the mainland. TSMC has become a crucial link. As a result, the United States introduced a CHIP Act and promised TSMC to invest in the United States but TSMC must build a new production line without producing high-tech products domestically. As a result, TSMC spent billions of dollars to open a factory in the United States, but the United States suddenly changed its mind and asked TSMC to hand over all their core customers and their secrets to them, otherwise they would not get any benefits. Compensate just like Intel, it is negotiating with the Biden administration to obtain more than 10 billion US dollars in funding. Previously, the Biden administration also provided some subsidies to Bay Systems US subsidiaries and microelectronics technology companies, but Samsung and TSMC but did not receive any subsidy. TSMC Chairman Liu Deng announced that it would stop applying for subsidies to U.S. manufacturers and delay production. TSMC's factories in the United States have suffered a big setback. They invested billions but made nothing. However, things have taken a turn for the worse recently. A big reason why TSMC came to the United States to set up a factory is that TSMC's main customers, especially the main customers for high-end chips, are concentrated in the United States. If TSMC does not go to the United States, it will lose the U.S. market, and at that time it is during the global economic downturn, TSMC's business was not doing well so it agreed to the request of American companies. However, starting from the fourth quarter of this year, TSMC began a counterattack. In the field of advanced manufacturing, the production capacity of 3 nanometer chips has increased significantly, with revenue rising from 6% to 15%. The production capacity of the four-fifths nanometer process has reached 90%, and the production capacity in the third quarter reached 95%. In addition, six-sevenths nanometer chip production capacity has also achieved 75% capacity utilization. Coupled with the pressure from the United States, TSMC decided to establish a 2 nanometers process in Hsinchu Science and Technology Park in Taiwan. The development speed of 2 nanometer technology has exceeded that of 3 nanometer in the United States. TSMC is expected to launch 2 nanometer testing in the fourth quarter of 2024 and mass manufacturing in the second quarter of 2025. By then, the first batch of users will still be Apple, followed by Intel, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, AMD and other American companies have also followed suit. Judging from the current situation, TSMC's choice is correct. Back then, the United States used high subsidies as bait and threatened to lose orders from American companies to force TSMC to go to the United States. However, when TSMC fell out with the U.S. authorities and introduced 2 nanometers technology from Taiwan, U.S. companies were still queuing up to place orders. Instead of declining, TSMC's high-tech equipment utilization rate was increasing, which made Americans feel that their his face was slapped hard. In addition, 
The utilization rate of TSMC's 28 nanometers process has increased from the original 70% to more than 80%. TSMC will invest 2.8 billion US dollars to increase the 28 nanometers process in Nanjing in order to convert the 28 nanometers process into the process is mass produced and provided to the domestic market. This will have a huge impact on SMIC's performance and even the domestic integrated circuit industry. But I think that TSMC's going in the opposite direction this time is not necessarily a bad thing. Firstly, it can prompt SMIC to accelerate technology research and development. Secondly, TSMC now seems more willing to transfer more advanced processes to Taiwan. According to the plan of the Ministry of Transport, the Beijing-Taiwan high-speed railway will not be completed until 2035 at the earliest. Before that, the railway may take several years to complete. If these are not considered, it means that TSMC is already in China's pocket. Things Just as TSMC is increasing investment and seeking higher production capacity and technological breakthroughs, Another semiconductor company, SMIC, is also facing its own development opportunities. As the largest integrated circuit manufacturing service provider in mainland China, SMIC has been committed to improving its technical level and service capabilities. With the improvement of TSMC's production capacity, changes in the global supply chain and the adjustment of related industries, more opportunities have emerged in the market. Some orders that were originally entrusted to TSMC need to find new partners due to overloaded production capacity, and SMIC is the beneficiary. SMIC not only has a strong influence in the domestic market, but also wins the favor of more and more customers internationally. Its continuous progress in technological research and production efficiency has enabled it to gradually narrow the gap with the international advanced level. Especially on certain specific process nodes, SMIC has been able to provide services comparable to those of international giants. On the road paved by TSMC's capacity miracle, SMIC is seizing opportunities and continuously expanding its market territory with a firm and steady pace. However, it is not easy for SMIC to take this opportunity to make a leap. It must work hard in many aspects such as technology research and development, marketing, and customer service. Only through unremitting efforts and continuous innovation can SMIC better seize the opportunities brought by this wave of changes in the global semiconductor industry, further consolidate its position, and create its own capacity miracle. In the past few years, SMIC has indeed made great efforts, from basic process technology to advanced FinFET technology step by step towards the international advanced level, showing good competitiveness. In the future, with more changes and adjustments in the global semiconductor industry, how SMIC continues to seize opportunities and seek breakthroughs will be the focus of close attention by the entire industry.